In this video, we will see how we can integrate Oracle WebLogic Server with uh, the Oracle OHS Server, which is an Oracle Web Server, or also called Oracle HTTP Server. Okay, so now in, in, in 12C onward, okay, it is very simplified for the integration, uh, but the, in, in the prior versions of uh, WebLogic, uh, like 11G and then some earlier versions, okay, you had to download some plugin files and then you have to copy that plugin files in WebLogic server directories and then you have to update the OHS uh, configuration file manually to, to get reflected the downloaded uh, plugins, okay, but now uh, 12C onwards, it is simplified. So all the plugins by default come with the WebLogic, okay. So what you have to do is only you have to uh, modify some con configuration file for the redirection and then you have to enable the plugin at the WebLogic server end. Okay, so now what is the prerequisite for this session is that you have uh, installed your WebLogic server and you have created a domain and in that domain you are running one of your application, okay, that you wanted to access from the OHS and you have OHS is already installed, OHS domain is already created and then your OHS is running on the port 7777. Okay, so what exactly we wanted to achieve from this session is that you have a web server which is front ending your application server, which is a WebLogic server. Okay, you have deployed your uh, application on WebLogic server and then uh, you wanted to access the application from the web server. Okay, so what are the high level steps? Is straightforward. You have to configure the, your OHS, okay, for the redirection. And once Redirection is completed in your OHS side. Okay, you have to enable web server plugin in the WebLogic server. Okay, so what are the OHS configurations are required for that? Okay, so now for that you have to 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 modify the configuration files of OHS for the redirection. Okay, now twelve C onwards you have two configuration directories in in OHS. Okay, one is called the staging directory and second is called the runtime directory. So both directory will have the same contents or you can say about the same configuration files okay so whenever you want to do any kind of a changes configuration changes in your OHS okay you have to update or you have to modify your staging directory configuration files okay and whenever you will restart your OHS after changing the contents in your staging directory okay it will get reflected in your runtime directory which is a directory with the name of instance okay inside a folder called instances okay so the base folder for your configuration files would be same there is a folder called config inside your domain. Inside config, you will have a FMW config and then components and then OHS. Inside OHS, you will have a folder with the name of your OHS, like OHS1, okay? And another folder with name instances and then instance inside the instances, you will have another folder with the name of your OHS instance, again, which is OHS1, okay? So whenever you wanted to do any kind of a changes, configuration changes in OHS, you have to modify the files, which is inside your OHS one. And once you will bounce your OHS, the contents will be reflected in your runtime directory. Okay. So there are two important configuration files when we talk about the OHS. One is the http.com file, which is the main configuration file. And second is the ssl.conf, which is the use for the configuration of your SSL. And the third one is modwlohs.conf, which is the main file where you define all the redirections for your OHS and WebLogic integrations. And this file is called inside your http.conf, okay? So now you have a WebLogic server is running, which is on, on port 701 for admin server. And for apart from that, uh, we have two managed servers in the WebLogic domain running on port 7002 and 7003, okay? And I have deployed an application which is named Shopping Cart and the context of application is again Shopping Cart, okay? And this is, I have deployed on the cluster. That means I have deployed it on the managed server one as well as managed server two, okay? So now when we do not have any kind of integrations with the OHS, okay? So you can access the application with the help of direct port of your managed servers, okay? So now because I have deployed this shopping cart application on my cluster where I have two managed servers are running, so I can access the application by giving the port of managed server one and managed server two, like 7002 slash shopping cart and 7003 slash shopping cart. Now after the integration, instead of specifying the port of your managed servers, we can give the port of your OHS, okay? And then it will be accessed from any of the two managed 
servers, either for managed server one or either on managed server two, based on the load balancing algorithm that has been configured at the OHS side. Okay. So now, what is the configuration required in your mod WL OHS.conf file? Okay, you have to define all the directions that is required for the application. Okay, for example, in WebLogic, uh, we have a graphical interface for our admin server, like which we access with the help of slash console context. Okay, so for that, you can define a, a particular para as I have mentioned in the screen with the location tag slash console. Okay, and in that, I have defined the WebLogic host as local host because my uh, WebLogic is running on my local host, local server. Okay, and the port is 7001, which is the port of your admin server, right? This is the uh, WebLogic port and then host for your slash console context. Similarly, my application, which is slash shopping cart, which is deployed on my two managed servers, those are running on port 7002 and 7003 on my local host on the same machine. Okay, so I have to define another context for that inside the location tag. Okay, uh, the context of this location is slash shopping cart. Okay, that means I am going to access my application with the help of URL as my uh, local host colon the port of my OHS slash shopping cart. And now because my this shopping cart application is deployed on my two managed servers running on port 7002 and 7003. So I will define another tag which is called WebLogic cluster. And inside that I will specify the host and the port by giving the comma localhost colon 7002 comma localhost 7003. Three. Similarly, if you have a multiple managed servers, more than two managed servers, you can specify your all the managed servers by giving the comma. Okay. And then rest of the parameters, you can go with the same configurations. And then you have to restart your OHS once you are done with the configurations. Okay. And once you have restarted your uh, OHS, then you have to enable the WebLogic plugin at the WebLogic side. Okay. So for that, you have to go to your admin console, click on your servers. Okay, and click on each of your servers one by one. For example, click on Manage Server 1, MS1. Go to your configurations and then general tab. Inside that, go to your advanced tab. Inside advanced tab, you just enable the WebLogic plugin enabled parameter as yes and click on save. Do this for all of your managed servers, including your admin server. Okay, one by one. And after that, you have to restart your WebLogic server. Okay, so that's all your OHS is configured with the WebLogic server. So what you had done is you have modified your OHS configuration file for the redirection. Okay, and then after that, you have enabled your uh, plugin at the WebLogic end. Okay, so after that, you go and access the your admin console or other your application with the help of OHS port instead of your direct server port. Okay, that means for uh, to access your admin console, you can give localhost colon 7777 slash console. Similarly, for shopping cart application, you can give the local host colon 7777 slash shopping cart. In this way, you can access your applications from the OHS. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for a few more interesting videos. Thank you very much.